What's up, Freaks? It's Tex here, and I was finally able to play the assignment. I don't know if you heard, but the assignment had a pretty rocky start at launch. I mean, it wasn't showing up on the PlayStation Marketplace, it wasn't showing up on the Xbox Marketplace, and all Season Pass holders couldn't download it for the first, like, a day or so. Pretty much nothing was working right, and a lot of people did not get to play the assignment the day it came out, myself included. Which sucks, because I love this game. I was really looking forward to this, too. No one was looking forward to this more than me. Okay, maybe Fungo, but still. Finally, though, two days later, it's all worked out. It should be working fine on every platform, which is good. Not gonna lie, I was about a day away from making a rant video about the whole topic. But now, with that out of my system and that out of the way, let's talk about the game. It's pretty fucking awesome. The assignment is first of three DLC dropping for The Evil Within, and the assignment, you actually get to play as Kidman, that's Sebastian's mysterious hot female partner that you don't know anything about. You get to see the events from the original story from the Evil Within through Kidman's point of view. And you learn a whole bunch of new stuff about the whole world and everything that's pretty mind-boggling. It's explaining more of the story and answering a lot of questions that people have been wondering. It adds so much more detail and richness to the world that it's made it much more interesting and mysterious too in a way. It's going to take you about two to four hours to complete, which is actually a pretty good length. It's not too long, not too short, it's just right. But of course, the ending leaves me wanting so much more in terms of story, because I want to get to the conclusion. But this is only the first part of a two-part story, so right now we got the assignment. In a few months, we're going to get the consequence, which is to be wrapping up all of Kidman's story. And I swear, this game is its scary as shit. I'm not going to lie. I thought the evil within itself was scary. No, this is even scarier. Yes, you heard that right. This is scarier. And I'm going to explain why. I don't know if you remember, but in my evil within review, I said that they threw in the stealth mechanic in the beginning of the game, then halfway through, they kind of just forgot about it. Well, in the assignment, you're sneaking throughout the entire thing. But it's not the only part. You also don't have a weapon throughout the entire playthrough. And enemies do a lot of damage. Even though Kidman's health bar is all the way up, it only takes about... Two hits to kill you. You do get axes later on in the game, but those are only for sneak kills. So you're pretty much defenseless the entire time. And the game feels a lot like Outlast, where you really just can't defend yourself, and it's just a lot of running, hiding, and sneaking. This is a good change of pace from the original main storyline. Because the main story, everything went pretty much really, really action-y towards the end. But in this one, it's very stealth-based. I think the stealth mechanics work pretty well. The game has a pretty constant frame rate. I didn't really have a problem with it lagging or freezing or anything. And of course, the game looks really good. So after my long two-day wait, I finally got to play the assignment. And you know what? It was worth it. I loved it. It was fun. It was awesome. The only negative thing I can really say is that there's a few sections where you have to sneak past enemies, but it's almost impossible to sneak past them. These parts took me like almost 20 minutes apiece to complete. And I get, you know, use your wits, but it just got really frustrating after a while when I kept dying and dying. But that's really the only negative thing I can really say about this. I just wanted to mention this and throw it in there. If you thought The Evil Within was already pretty much the new Resident Evil, after playing the assignment, you're going to be, like, more than convinced that, yeah, this is Resident Evil. Hell, it's even in the trailer. There's an evil corporation involved. And I'm mistaken, of course it is. Of course it is, Shinji Mikami. Of course it is. So if you thought The Evil Within was pretty much the new Resident Evil, after playing the assignment, you're going to be more than convinced. You're just going to know that Shinji Mikami, the creator of the Resident Evil series, is pretty much continuing his game series under a different name. It's not a bad thing. I just wanted to throw it in there. And honestly, if I had to choose between Resident Evil and The Evil Within, I'm choosing The Evil Within. I'm choosing it every day of the week. Because I love it. So is The Assignment worth $10? Honestly, I think it is. If you really like The Evil Within then yes, the assignment is definitely worth picking up. It's going to answer a few more questions, and hell, even adds more mystery to the world that you already like. They've also added some new collectibles, achievements, some new um, soundtracks, and it's a solid two to four hours long, so it's definitely worth replaying. It's fun, it's scary, I liked it, and if you like the Evil Within, I know you're going to like it. Alright, freaks, thanks for watching. I'm Tex, and I'll catch you next time. Yeah.